Inception. It was Inception. That was the name of the movie. I couldn't remember. Hey guys, it's Wolf Ash. Welcome back to Control. We went through the really cool favorite part of the game so far, Ashtray Mage. Projector. Ooh. The expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Was it Polaris? Because that's what we're looking for, I thought. All right, well, that was a tad bit into it. Let's go ahead and do two things real quick in dimensional research. The first thing is, come on, read the janitor complaint, because why not? Are we still on? Yeah, we're still on, okay. Uh, case files, ashtray and cigarette. No unique procedures required. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved on the bottom. An ever-burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows peri-utilitarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. This maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to Director Trench. The object was discovered at Redacted by a team of rangers... Uh I redacted by a team of rangers sent to a care facility for the elderly that had become the center of numerous missing persons reports. Local authorities also disappeared inside after responding to reports. Agent Redacted discovered the object in a redacted, which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing persons are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. I could see that. I could see that quite clearly. Um, Federal Bureau janitor complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? Dr. Tan. He's got powers. Old gods of Asgard. Hey, it's the old gods that we heard. Yeah, cool. What's oh, an eight minute long song? Wow, okay. And then the hotline. Um, oh, we got a couple of things here. Uh, we'll do Slidescape 36 first. Look like it, mm, it's, this is a trench one. This might be, this is the board, <laughs> might be. It says trench and board above it. Good God. You have seen the foundation base of the building tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there, everywhere. We have a socket door there. It is a direct link. You guys are so inscrutable. We used the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself to find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass, alone with my thoughts, my memories, anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there, by what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound, like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit reverberating in the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. What kind of threat are we facing, you vague, vague man? Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle and a bunch of speaker arrays with a sand memo. 
To all Dimensional Research staff, I've heard, com I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around Dimensional Research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of this sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavor. You will spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand, Dr. Darling. <laughs> oh, he sounds darling. Right. Oh, there's the sand. And this is... What is that? A welding cart? It's explosive, but I don't know why it would need to be. Anyway. Another control point. Which makes me feel better being here. This looks like Mars sand. It's our other dimension, Mars. There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Oh, Polaris. Just on the other side. Polaris. Are you going to be a bad guy? This is the end of a ramp. That's why I have floaty float powers. So that I can go to dead-end walkways. Oh no, there's a door over there. What about here? Truly a dead-end. Okay. What do we have here? Really? I would have thought for sure there'd have been some cool information in here. not here moved again what did darling do with it i've got to find out he filled it with those cat pictures he was talking about uh nope this is multiple doors that thing operates that makes sense physical portal into another dimension only one slide remains Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before... Can we get out of here so I can listen to this on the big screen? Alright, so, that's really cool, but let's check it out full screen, shall we? The way it was meant to be seen. Demonstration purpose is only not the actual object of power. Okay, perfect. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source, in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trenches, medical tests show nothing amiss. Okay. So he was he's resonating on some frequency that you guys aren't aware of. Is it because he's the director? Or oh, is that the, oh that's the elevator we couldn't get to before. Okay. Um I'm gonna do it just so it opens up the shortcut. Does this have to turn it on? No? Huh, I don't know. I guess we shall not worry about it for now.
When there's posters all over the wall, we're near Darling for sure. Hedron Containment. Hedron and the Hedron Resonance are arguably the greatest assets this Bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have redacted from the majority of Bureau employees. This report details the containment procedures uh, required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on redacted being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of the resonant siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. Note, for more information on the proper operational procedures of the resonant siphons, an additional report is coming soon. Fun. Two ways into the same room. Yep. Uh, that's going to operate something. And that's what we want to do. Okay, we want that cube, huh? Expedition we 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. Like the worm? I, I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built a Was that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it inside hey, the Mom, thing? I'm coming. Or is that the thing? Interesting. We have two multimedias, one called Final Message. We'll look at Hedron first. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape, the part that we can perceive. I honestly think there's the resonance it emits, the frequencies. We've, we've never seen anything like it. We, we, we've built a container for it, and, and we brought it in. This changes everything. It is beyond our understanding. We have brought so many questions with us through that hole in the wall. I will dedicate... <laughs> I'm never going home. Okay, I'm never going home. I don't know if that was like happy to say that or terrified. Final message. Oh, he got no clothes on. Don't back up if you got no pants on. Okay, you got underwear, that's okay. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. But after this, I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is, it's changing me. I've seen what? I've been shown so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's, oh, it's terrifying. It 
really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron resonance amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Okay. Now, when he said he exposed himself to Hadron, did he, I mean, literally? Like, pants off, dance off kind of exposed himself? Oh, more files. Always more to read. The slide projector only works with slide 36. Logically, this means the slide itself is a part of the object of power, or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other slides worked. I had to try. I thought maybe some emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought up to my parents' old slide. I brought in my parents' old slides, birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, my first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I had to dig around for the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all and waited until the staff left for the night. I stayed in that booth for hours, trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation that I can see. Maybe the slide itself is the object of power. Maybe the projector is just an accessory. Maybe it doesn't matter. Why'd that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? Alright. Is this the way down to it now? Hey! The elevator works now. Now that I don't care. Oh, wow. You here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. Boom. Big lock off. What are you, Polaris? Hi. I made it. out of my way. There we go. Sorry to kill you with your own brother, but here we go. It's just going to be waves of things coming at me as I destroy these radar dishes. Kind of out of the way for the moment. Let's see. Oh, nope. Ah, 
not that. Not letting me uh, take control of them. I wonder what that's about. Is it because of the resonance? Are they too strong here? Get the fuck away! All right, one more. Remember to clear anything out before we start messing around. Oh, that's fun. I think I got it. Come on. Oh, you suck. So close. Here. You. I guess I had to get him real low. You spot for me while I do this. If you're not shooting, then I'm safe. Uh-oh. Let's be healthy when we go to meet our invisible space mommy, I guess. What are the odds I have to do every last stroke of that again? Probably higher than I want to admit. I come up here, rip the door off again. Oh, really? Please tell me I'm not doing literally all of that again. Where I have to watch the cutscenes and all that jazz. Alright, then we came in here, and we saw this, and we came in here. We had the lab, we ran up here. That's the elevator. This is going to be so annoying if that happens more than once. No, we unlocked it. Okay. Okay, so we just got to go back down the elevator, right? And then we're good. Except, no, we were just there. Wait, is it... The other end? Oh, it's the other end. <laughs> okay. to work. Two of you I can have. Now 
That's what I was worried about. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Let's do it. Let's set this thing free. Oh my lord. This seems problematic. Deputy operate, Operator. Do your job. Which is do my job. on it. Ooh, there we go. Whoa, what the what? Excuse me, sir. We don't have to do this like all the way forever, I hope. Yeah, we heard that before. Now you gotta find the next level up. Okay. Camera, thank you, camera. I love that, that's so cool. Kind, kind, loving sir. crying out loud. <laughs> okay, here we go again, here we go again, here we go again, here we go again, here we go again. Okay. Didn't waste the extra time that I wasted last time not knowing where I was going. It still feels like a ton of time is being wasted overall. No, you stupid. <laughs> so, if you're wondering what happened there, she got her dumb foot or something hooked on uh, takeoff, and it screwed up her, her vertical lift, and when you instinctively try to correct it by pressing the button again, which is what you do to fly, it actually cancels your flight, and... You die, so yay. Okay. This is a weird, weird. Alright. Say like that. Her trajectory got wonked out. 
on the first button press. Okay. So now we float on over here. And hopefully not do too much of this again, but uh, in actuality we do all of it again. Yay, yay, yay. Come on. Now, you guys are going to start messing with me here. Okay, this is way too much nonsense that you guys can do that much damage. Double go away. So much going away going on. Come on. Come on. There we go. But there was a bigger dude around here somewhere. Supervisor. Come on. So much healing to give. Can we knock you off the edge there? That seemed to work! I think we did it. I think we knocked the big guy off the edge. Holy macaroni! Can we get past this, please? Oh, there's more. Reach Polaris. I want to. And I think we might actually this time. Hey, Polaris! No. No. The poster comes down and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello? Polaris, are you there? Please, oh, can't please, please, no. please, no. please, please, no. please, no. please, no. please, 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 Now what? You are a worm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. Light curls the yellow. Are we one of the floating things now? Whoa! No, 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 no. Are you kidding? Is that the end? Is it the actual end? What? No, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, 
we stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words. When you hear this, you will know you're in a new you. Oh, man, that's cool. I was I was blown away that that would actually be the end. Wow. Reality is melting around us until it peels off the screen. <laughs> that's cool, dude. Federal Bureau of Control, so how may I help you? I need those you field here. reports typed up and in management's hands first thing tomorrow. The Bureau is the best at what it does, protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Ha! Ah! Check the notice board for tasks. Oh, I want to save. This is so cool. Oh, I can't save yet. All right. Scan the forms. Deliver the mail. Tidy up the coffee cups. This was his dream, if you recall. Dylan said this is what I would be doing in his dream. I would just be a clerk working on things. Why do they keep you around? Sorry I'm late. What the heck? Did you hear? We have a crisis on our hands. Scan the forms. <laughs> I just got a simulated office job. It's exciting as a real office job. All right. No, 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 no. I will get it done right away. Did I screw up by starting to scan again? Is that something I'm going to have to do now? You're dismissed. No problem. Deliver the mail, deliver the mail. Thank you for giving me a chance. Deliver the mail, deliver the mail. That'll be all. Good thing everybody has exactly one letter coming to them. Is this paycheck day? Is that what this is? Don't let it go to your head. My pleasure. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, ma'am. Dude. This is not a good dream. This is the opposite of a good dream. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. What am I missing? Am I missing one? Why do they keep you around? Deliver the mail I is here. Exist. I'll try hard. Tidy up the phone, tidy up the coffee cups. Okay. Why are there so many coffee cups hanging around loose? The nerve of this woman. Who does she think she is? Deliver the director's mail to his office. Oh, I can skip all that crap. Skip it all and go straight to the source. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. I guess we'll find out here in just a second. Oh, great. I was just waiting for my mail. Just please, take the outgoing mail as well. Okay, what do we do? What do we break? Right. What is happening? I don't like this. Whoa! No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel 
feel you. You didn't feel that? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Okay. Where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. All right, I think we're gonna. Where am I? What is this? I think we're gonna call it right I there. End. Wake up, please. I want to go home. Oh, okay. We'll we'll pick up here next time. This is crazy. Okay, uh, guys, thank you for watching. Sorry, this one's a little bit long, and I will uh, let you go. But I hope to see you again for what might be the conclusion next time. We'll find out. Take care, guys.